Good morning, friends, and welcome to another amazing series uh, of Pamper Yourself Session Two. Uh, it's so exciting today because uh, we are starting this session with a bang. Today is uh, Dentist Day, and uh, as a dentist, uh, you know it gives me so much of privilege uh, to have thought about you know pampering yourself and uh, starting a session for all of us. And uh, what is so amazing is I have one of my uh, what should i say a father figure uh, uh, today uh, to present uh, you know on uh, dentistry and um, uh, today is a, a national uh, dentist day and um, i'm sure all of you know that as dentists uh, we are smile designers we are smile creators we are smile innovators we are smile um, uh, what should i say makeover specialists and uh, you know we bring uh, smiles in everybody's lives uh, all of us know that we have uh, two sets of teeth uh, the primary and the permanent set uh, but we also through a dentist have a tertiary set of teeth called the implants and uh, today sir is uh, you know going to talk a lot about how to take care of your teeth and uh, i can go on and on about dentistry and about sir Uh, because uh, that is something which i have been breathing in and out for the last almost now i can say uh, 30 plus years uh, but uh, you know we are also minuscule in front of sir and sir's experience uh, dr chandrashekar or uh, as we call him chandru sir uh, is a, a person very close to my heart especially i know he's close to all of us but to me um, he's been uh, more than a father figure there has been so many times Uh, through our association indian dental association madras branch uh, that you know we have been so closely associated with sir i can say he was a canopy under which we all used to cling along and uh, sir used to uh, you know be that person whom you would want to listen to and uh, the, the kind of experience he has he's been the professor and head of savita dental college and hospital and uh, he went out to be the national president of uh, the oral pathologist uh, you know association and uh, during that time uh, see uh, for an oral pathologist uh, to understand the pathologies of the oral cavity when i say oral cavity it means in and around the oral cavity also so it could mean the lips it could be the cheeks inside it could mean the tongue it could mean uh, anything to do with the teeth and its uh, structures and uh, and uh, you know sir made a beautiful set of uh, pack of cards uh it would look like a card pack from externally but uh, internally uh, on the on the side he had uh, you know uh, typed or got it done uh, with all the pathologies and the classifications which i still hold it so close to my heart and if there is any quick reference i need to do in my dental practice i always take out these cards and look out and uh, many of the articles which i have written uh you know it has helped me do my classification better because of the gift which i got from sir uh i only look at it as a blessing because you know um see there are uh, so many people who are uh, in your lives but many very 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 few actually touch your life and you know help you grow and uh, that is uh, the kind of person you're going to hear from today and uh, chandru sir is an amazing person amazing is a very a small word when i have to say i have been a part of all his family functions i've gone to his house i've had food at his place uh, so you know i can just go on and on but uh, the kind of wealth of uh, wisdom he has had and the kind of knowledge he has always shared we have always done a lot of um, programs with the adya cancer institute and um, he as a person has uh, done selfless service at the cancer institute so you know uh, being very humane and humble in spite of the great heights he has reached in dentistry is something uh, you know worth mentioning and uh, we used to do a program for teachers so we used to uh, you know invite all the teachers of uh, uh, the chennai city i'm not talking only about uh, you know um, the other private institutions which can have affordability i'm talking about the government or the government aided uh, college and the students and the teachers and we used to uh, invite uh, one or two teachers from each of the schools and one or two students so we used to have this two uh, teacher student interaction and all that and we used to identify nodal teachers and uh, he used to be the 
speaker uh, talking about how to you know uh, get um, uh, dentistry right from uh, school and uh, then we used to give from the association we used to give posters to these schools so that you know they could put it in their walls and uh, you know they could keep on uh, reiterating the facts which they learnt on that particular day so uh, sir has been instrumental in major major um, activities of uh, wherever we have been uh, working on and uh, uh, it is so pleasurable when i think about myself i know him since 1994 Uh, from the time i have been associated with ida madras branch but um, you know closely working for the past 20 plus years and uh, the, he uh, is uh, not only into dentistry or as, uh, as i told you in the other different formats which i just explained uh, but he is such a creative person uh the I, in fact he's sitting just below one of his paintings and that's a tanjore painting the geeta upadesham as we call it and uh, he uh, loves uh, creativity whether it is dance music uh, any form any form and uh, i i i still remember when we uh, when i had dance i guess after some 20 odd years i went up on stage and i represented ida and i did a dance with along with my friend and it was a surprise i mean nobody knew it only the two of us knew it and i was uh, comparing the entire program and suddenly uh, you know we just went up and we uh, dance stand up and we came down the kind of hug he gave us i mean you know uh, that that father's hug uh, and uh, so proud of us and i can never forget those moments i feel you know these are these small small things uh, which uh, we need to treasure and uh, thank you so much sir um, you know for uh, being the kind of person you are and for uh, truly living up uh, to being uh, you know a, a dentist in terms of uh, serving others uh, it is not about what wealth we created at the end of the day it's not that it's the wealth of knowledge which you were ready to give and um, uh, this uh, screen has been just so fortunate with your presence today uh, with 45 plus years of experience in dentistry and being a good human being i still remember after the earthquake uh, in buj gujarat uh, and rajasthan sir had gone there and you know he uh, worked uh, he asked those artisans how we could help them he used to get those ajrak and uh, the the leather bags and you know he used to sell them and give the proceedings of the sale to them and uh, brought their lives back into some form of normalcy uh, and uh, you know these small deeds which you do that is the karma you know that is the kind of what you uh, carry uh, with you uh, and uh, this kind of goodness and the richness which we learned from you makes us so uh, you know humble when we even think about you sir so thank you so much first of all on behalf of pamper yourself to accept our invitation i mean that is something uh, i know uh, you would say that uh, oh i am retired with you no but you know each of you uh, will be wondering like even after retirement if can a person be so busy because he is a busy youtuber busy blogger uh, busy in the social media and you know always giving his uh, wisdom out so thank you so much sir and uh, you know it's a pleasure to have you in our pamper yourself series uh, especially today uh, being the happy dentist day we want you to talk more about dentistry and the role of how uh, a dentist can influence uh, people's lives so over to you sir and it's a pleasure to have you with us so dr chandrashekar thank you vidya thank you sir i hope you can see this board Yes, yes, sir. Today happens to be the Dentist Day, and I think this is the right day for me to talk. I welcome all the people, all the doctors who are participating in this Zoom meeting, because I requested them to take part in it. now the topic which i took up role of dentist it is in your life that is i am addressing the common man now what should be the role of a dentist in a philosophical way if i want to say every creature born in this world 
whether it is a plant or an animal or an insect or whatever it is including human being we do have a role an important role for which we are destined towards the community and towards the society i hope you understand because the role of mother or role of the parents play a main uh, role in bringing up the child and role of a teacher gives you the character and then comes the role of a career where you learn about dentistry at this juncture i would like to thank how i have been rolled out from my childhood i got educated from holy angels then st beads high school then madras christian college and then madras medical college the dental wing so i am thankful for whoever has taught me and rolled me out as a responsible and to serve me now every person has a role no slow it now what is the role of a dentist in somebody's life what is the exact role even of a doctor i would rather say the main role of any doctor i'm talking about doctors and in particular a dentist the main role of a dentist in anybody's life is to help him have his natural teeth i hope everybody understands this the role of a dentist is not just to pluck out the tree or do this surgery that surgery and all those things but he should make the patient comfortable having his own natural teeth so where does this point come in our education there is one branch in dentistry which is not focused very well that is the branch of community dentistry this is a very important branch now the community health care services which is playing a major role in this pandemic time that community dentistry we forget or we are not taught up to the mark actually today's pathetic condition of the dental young dental practitioners is only because of this so community dentistry is one place where a dentist i mean a qualified dentist plays a major role in maintaining the natural teeth of the patient of the person in his life see we say teeth are meant throughout life till the end but that means the natural teeth we don't mean the other artificial teeth so if properly maintained if the public is properly educated this can be done this is what is highlighted in other european and western countries there are more more patients who come to clinic for the regular dental checkup rather than for treatment but that doesn't happen in our country so i should say that once again that the main role of a dentist is to help the person retain his natural teeth regular dental checkup where you check up and where you do initial treatments like initial caries right periodic scaling and other things okay there i stop at this point now i just want to tell share some important interesting factors about our team which people may not know how many of us in general public know 
that the tooth or the teeth start developing. You will be astonished to know that, surprised to know that the teeth starts developing at the sixth or seventh week of intrauterine life. Imagine at the seventh week of intrauterine life, the fetus, I think, will be rather little more than an inch or so. I do not know. But what is the importance given to this developing tooth? Where does the nutrition come to this particular developing tooth for the, in the fetus? It has to come only through the mother. And the mother has to get the nutritional food in a proper way to reach I hope everybody understands. So, once again, come back to the mother or the pregnant lady, the importance of the number of teeth she has. See, that's why we point and say, have a dental checkup before you get married. See that all your teeth are erected, filled, or if you have a bad teeth, let it be removed and get replaced so that the pregnant lady is able to eat, chew the food properly, masticate the food properly, and thereby it will be very well easily absorbed in the intestines, which can be taken through the blood vessels to the penis. So scientific presentations have said, there are literature proof that people, ladies having a very bad teeth or less number of teeth deliver less weight babies. Periodontists have a, so many papers on that. Whether we believe it or not, we know, it is a common sense for us to know the difference between having all the 32 teeth or 28 teeth, if how much of mastication that can be compared to, suppose before pregnancy or before marriage, you lose half a dozen teeth. What happens to the masticating capacity of that particular person? For example, I used to tell this example very often. Now, what is this? There was a mixing grinder which has about four blades are there. And suppose two blades out of it goes away. How much of time does it take to powderize or galvanize? And whether it can make it into a powder which will be easily taken. So if you lose speed, it is something compared to the a mixing. And next, I want to tell some unique features of the teeth. In our body, every human being gets two sets of teeth. Remember, two sets of teeth. There is no other organ in the body. You don't get two sets of eyes, or you don't get two sets of hand, or you don't get two sets of mouth. Only you get two sets of teeth. That is nature has given. Can you imagine why? See, the baby's teeth are small and it can accommodate only that much of a small face. Whereas an adult has a bigger face, he needs bigger size of teeth. Why God <laughs> made it like that? As a child, we also have small hands, small ears, small nose, but they start growing as we grow. But as, whereas the teeth, once it erupts, comes out of the tomb, it never changes its size. It doesn't become big. That's why that is the reason nature has given us two sets of teeth. And one more interesting thing 
you should know that teeth is the only organ. There is no other organ in the body which develops within the bone and then grows out of the bone. You cannot name any other organ. See, it is developing under a very safe environment. Very safe environment. And then it comes out of the bone and starts. It doesn't grow in size, but it comes out of the bone for function. So teeth is the one, one more thing. Teeth is the only organ which is made up of three heart tissues. See, God is very, very, very creative. He did not make it out of one single heart tissue. He made three heart tissues there, enamel, dentine, and cementum. And you can see the benefit of enamel and disadvantage of enamel. Enamel, once it chips out or goes off, it doesn't come again, it doesn't grow again. Whereas enamel has certain amount of ability to form secondary dentine and tertiary dentine and all those things. As I told you, teeth can never change in dimension. Sometimes some patients come, doctor, my child is having a bigger size of teeth. No, we tell them size cannot be changed. Once her face goes up, she'll have a wonderful feet. So there, again, these are certain facts which you should know about, which, which through the dentist, it should reach the public. Next, I come to, once again, the role of a dentist. When we say dentist, many of the public are educated, or they think that we are related only to teeth or treat only teeth. Sorry. We are more concerned about the other tissues in and around the teeth. That's why we say promoting oral health and disease prevention is more important. And at this juncture, I would like to tell a Dentist, I normally noted it in my book, dentist is nothing but a detective. Dentist is a detective in the sense, why do I use that word detective? A well-qualified dentist, if he examines the mouth, he will be able to detect so many other systemic diseases which can be seen in the mouth. Leave alone the teeth. You can, rather you can diagnose so many things in uh, treating, a, in examination of the mouth. So starting from respiratory infections, that is when you have a bad breath, you can just advise the patient, have a respiratory checkup. Sometime when the teeth start shaking, you can ask them to check up their bone density or any bone pathology. As I told you, the birth preterm and the low birth rate of birth uh, weight of a children can be affected. And there are so many cardiologists, even now, famous cardiologists, who refer to a dental surgeon before they start the treatment for a cardiac patient. And not but the least, diabetes also can be diagnosed by looking, examining the teeth. The Jijewa can give you a lot of signs which can be detected very easily if you are experienced for leukemia and other conditions. So here, a dentist has to get trained as a detective, not as only as a dentist, I mean dentist looking for a cavity, for a filling or a root canal treatment, no. You have to look around the oral cavity, look around the palate, look under the tongue, look on the cheeks, look 
and mostly i am trying to tell that certain diseases occur at certain ages not diseases certain conditions signs and symptoms normally when i get a patient who is about 18 or 20 who complains about pain in the posterior region i immediately tell it is might be due to the wisdom tooth similarly there are so many conditions which you just by looking at the patient you can diagnose submucous fibrosis now here comes now sometimes we normally say prevention is better than i mean the treatment or whatever it is but now i have coined another word before prevention prediction is better than prevention see that is the role a dentist can play a main role towards the health of the oral cavity and towards the maintenance of the natural teeth so the prediction what do we mean by prediction every orthodontist says that is prediction he says unless if you don't arrange it get it arranged the teeth in a proper way in a long term you may lose your teeth sometimes we a proxy we see a small proximal cavity we predict the patient have it done immediately otherwise it may go in for canal treatment say sometimes we see the natural teeth in the anterior front teeth with a small cavity in between giving a very ugly appearance we can predict and tell the patient have it done immediately so that it doesn't become big and prediction more useful in helping the oral cancer patients on examination of the oral cavity soft tissues if you find any change in the color any change in the texture any change in its complaint from the patient say burning sensation or is unable to chew or is unable to talk or is unable to swallow he is unable to put his tongue out all these give you a chance to predict and save the patient from going in for other treatment so the role of the dentist as i would say again is to help the community to retain their natural teeth as long as possible now how this is to be done who has to take it up some responsible person has to knock the door of the government as it is done in abroad all the children before getting admitted into a school have to get a clearance from a dentist about the dental report why can't that be done here everybody goes in for medical examination they say we see frequently that you have your sugar check and your bp check have your this cardiovascular system check and there is so many advertisements coming total health check fasting for 700 to 700 and 1000 and now they have started even coming home and doing this total medical check why can't the dentist take it up to give a dental check up at home i'm not telling this as a joke i'm telling this as a serious issue you select ten homes in your neighborhood offer them if necessary a free dental check up but i won't support the free dental check up at least you can promote this free dental check up in house for which you need nothing but a torch and a mouth mirror and you can promote educate them you can tell them this is the condition that if you don't do it now you may have to go in for some bigger treat suppose you can do a filling and save your tooth spending about 1000 rupees if you are going to go in for a root canal treatment it is going to cost you 15000 rupees and later if you want to go for an implant it is going to cost 25000 now educate them in such a way and make them come to your clinic that is the most important thing which we need today i have been doing that right from the initial stages of my practice three people enter my clinic for one patient the other two gets a free checkup and 100% those two patients also become 
my patient for further treatment. So I hope you people understand. So the role of the dentist, once again, I want to tell because that is the title or the topic of the day. And it's an apt topic today being a dentist day. Try to save the tooth as fast as possible and educate the patients. Well, we have nothing big to say. We have been telling this right from day one, brush twice a day and have two consultations a year. Yes, that is simple as that. And today I came across an article in, uh, from the US. The brushing also, they have, they have changed. They say brush after breakfast and after dinner. I think it is sensible. It is sensible. So what is the concept behind caries? As long as the food is lodged, it can demineralize by the action. Yes, it's created by the action. So once you remove the, I mean the good particles, that solves the problem. Another thing which I want to tell my young dental surgeons, we are being taught the, so many brushing techniques. We say when brush your upper teeth from up, down and lower teeth, all this. See, this is patient concept, patient will not understand. Now, you must explain them, what is the purpose of brushing? Many people think purpose of brushing is to polish and make it white. No. Tell them that cannot be done by brushing or any toothpaste in the world. So the purpose, the role of brushing, important role, is to remove the food particles stuck wherever it has stuck. So the brushing technique differs from patient to patient. Now I used to tell this one more example to so many, so many meetings. Why brushing after food in the night is important. And how many of the women folk wash the cooking utensils or vessels just before going to bed. And what is the advantage behind it? Suppose you leave it overnight. What happens the next day? You have so much of difficulty in washing the vessels. You can understand. In the same way, the teeth also, once you finish your food, try to rinse and brush and remove everything and then go for bed. You wake up so fresh that you can just straight away walk and have a bit of it. So understand, try to make the patients when they come into the clinic, you some spare some time to educate. But that, that's all I say, the community dentistry subject, which is being neglected in almost all the colleges, I won't say any particular college, but they don't, don't give enough importance to that subject. See, each graduate, when he comes out, he should be able to convince the patient. That's why the conversation is important. How do you converse with the patient? Your body language, which differs from patient to patient. So the role of a dentist is not easy. The role of a dentist changes according to the environment. And the treatment has to be offered to them after convincing them what you're going to do. We cannot say the way go and do the implant. No. You have to give an explanation to them. So on this dentist day, I once again wish to Focus my point on educating the patient and treating the cases as per need so that they don't lose the tooth as far as possible. Now, I have a small pamphlet which says, Ungal Parkal Varna Uluadu Irita Vindia, Ekaranate Kundum, our three Yeranda Vidadi. What does it mean? Women should. That is, take care of your teeth and they'll take care of your health. See, this is very, very important. If you have clean teeth and the number of teeth, say 28 or 32, 
you will not have any digestive problem or GRT problem or any problem because you are able to chew the food properly. And chewing the food properly is very much different from natural teeth to your artificial teeth. Nothing can compromise the natural teeth. Your chin example. Ammila arakra chutney ko, mixil arakra chutney ko, yes sir. Yeah. In the same way, the natural teeth has its natural function, natural saliva, the tongue movement, everything plays a role. But once you face an artificial one, of course you can't avoid it. There no other go. Then you have to go in for an and uh, artificial teeth because otherwise you may lose the other teeth also. So there is a need for placement of artificial teeth like bridges or RPDs or even implants. But prediction can solve this problem. If you can make aware of the patient, get the patient to know about the longevity of the teeth. Some people think if you become old, the teeth will fall. No. If you have your teeth corrected at the right age, I would say even orthodontically, if you get the teeth into the correct occlusion, I assure you, you will have a long, till the death you can have the teeth. Most of the teeth are lost because of other traumatic uh, occlusion and other things, what I have seen. The number point which I here wish to say is dental makeup is more important than bridal makeup. See, bridal makeup, you spend thousands, not only thousands, I think it goes more than that also. Once I had one person who came, the makeup people came all the way from Singapore to do it and they charged them about three, four lakhs. So the important dental makeup is missing. So I would rather advise people to educate these bridal makeup people to ask their clients for going for a dental checkup. And regular dental checkup, timely treatment can help you to retain all the teeth till the end, as I told you earlier. Now, one more important point regarding the women. Women should undergo all under, I mean, dental treatment before becoming pregnant. This can avoid unavoided, unwanted pain and strain during the course of pregnancy. You will see, find so many patients coming in the ninth month or eighth month with a big swelling, with pain, and at that time we don't know what to do. We take chances in doing it. Some are bold in doing an extraction. Some are not good in doing an extraction and the patient suffers. So try to educate them. Say, give lectures in the women colleges. Give lectures in ladies colleges. Give lectures in schools. Tell them the importance. I have spoken in so many women colleges in my days. So make it a point. This is community dentistry. The dental colleges should do, should do it for the benefit of their own students who pass out and are working for about, I shouldn't say the amount. So let the colleges take this as a challenge and start educating the, I mean the public in taking care of the teeth. Your teeth are meant for like that, I told you. Then, for men, I have told, talked so much about for men the importance of teeth or the role of a dentist towards men. Men's teeth. You should try to preserve the natural teeth. The role of a dentist is only that. It need not be necessarily treatment. Treatment may fetch you money. Yes, we need money. Of course, once they lose the tooth. We have to do certain things which are quite expensive. But as I insist on this particular day, dentist day, take it as a challenge. Plan out what you can do. 
say at least 10 dentists or 20 dentists in each area. Try to take this as a small project. No association is doing. Try to take it as a small project. Try to put posters throughout the area. You need not have your clinic's name. Or you can have your clinic's name. Or you can all the 10 dentists can have your clinic's name. But try to make it visible. There are so many ways of now bringing this to the notice of the public. So, I think this role, this word role, plays a very big uh, importance in the community's life. Yes, the health of the country depends upon the health of the public. Yeah. And the health of the public yeah. depends upon the health of their own body. And the health of the organs in the body depend upon the health of your teeth. See, remember, as a, I'm not talking as a dentist, I'm not talking as a out of wisdom that teeth are the most important organs in the body. See, some may say eyes, nose, yes, 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 heart, lungs, everything, yes, they're all important. But teeth is the one which grinds the food, masticates the food, and takes it to the, in the stomach, to the intestine, and it can be absorbed well only if it is very well masticated by the teeth and thereby supplies through blood the nutrition values to all the organs. So you can imagine. See, that's why God has given two sets of teeth. So the child will be taking the soft food for the, to the age of five or six. Then starts the adult teeth starts erupting. Then you start that is the time you call in the patients for a dental check. So make it a point, my dear young dentist, on this dentist day. Our days are over. We had a golden era, I should say. But today, if this is done, if you are going to educate the public in various ways, I can promise and I can swear that you will have a wonderful future. One of my students who returned from UK after 35 years of practice, he told me, sir, in UK, it is dentists, people think dentists earn by doing treatment. He said, no. We earn more by the patients who come for regular dental checkup. They have to take an appointment for that. And the regular dental checkup gives you an opportunity to diagnose at the initial stages and do the necessary treatment and call them again after six months for a just check. So this message should now go into each and every individual person. The medical and, the, and one more request to medical people also, please refer your medical cases for a dental check. Say so the gynecologists play an important role during pregnancy. Let them check the teeth, see if there are caries, caries. tell them, go and have it done or you will have for problem during the See, that is the way you educate the so, we must not be concerned only about what. There are so many dermatologists who refer cases to me for a dental checkup. Dr. Tambaya was referring his cases till his death to one doctor, late Dr. G. R. But see, that was the system which existed. And Dr. Danikai Chalam, as you know, the cardiologist, even today, he refers his patients for a dental checkup. So the importance, they knew the importance. Today, something has taken over. I should say the medical whole health system has been taken over to another extreme. 
people are not able to have treatment done. I would like to end up by saying that what Dr. Bharatiya, uh, poet Bharatiya said, Thani oru manithanithi unam illayani jagatthinai alithidu. What does it mean? If a single person starves also, we will burn this world. Now I would like to change this and send this message to the pub, to the government. Thani oru manithanithi vaithiyam illayani ilavasa vaithiyam illayani so my dear friends, I now have to thank to thank the organizers, especially Dr. Vidya Hari. But for that, I would not have accepted this uh, program because it is more than about 10 years I gave my teaching. Though I became a dentist, I'm not a dentist of choice. I took up this profession and that became my destiny. And today I love this profession. Not because I earn money, because I have educated so many generations who even today they come to my clinic before marriage, they just come for a checkup. And uh, once the child is born, they bring, once the primary group erupts at the sixth or the seventh month of birth, after delivery, they bring the child for a checkup. So this checkup is the mantra the dentist should learn. And try to start your community dentistry on this day. Don't depend upon any association or any group to help you. You paid your money to educate yourself. So try to do your part. Try to play your role in educating the public and you will really enjoy the profession. Need not necessarily be in terms of money. But we will find how many patients will thank you. Doctor, I think you told me that See, so many, so many patients tell that. Even today they tell that. There are so many incidents which I can tell, which I have experienced in my practice. It is almost 45 years of practice that I have been done. And uh, I'm also happy to say at this juncture that I'm sharing my experiences in a small book which is about to get published shortly. I don't, I don't, don't take this as a publicity for my book, no. I just want to tell the youngsters what can happen in practice, what matters in practice, and what role you play as a dentist, even in a clinic. The primary point starts from cleanliness and it ends with cleanliness. Patient who comes inside should go out clean. That is very important. I hope you understand. One more thing at this point I want to tell. A dent, the role of a dentist differs from patient to patient. It is not the same. It differs from patient to patient. And my seniors have told, each and every patient differs. You cannot talk the same to every patient. Your body language changes to every patient. Your smile changes to every patient. Your emotions change with your patient. So please, be happy today that you have done the BDS course and the MBS course and what not, what not. I tell you in practice, degrees not matter much. It is your role as a human being 
how you approach the patients. I hope you understand it. So my dear friends, on this happy day, in this day, I can't offer you anything. <laughs> I can't offer you anything in this pandemic time. So Vidya Hari knows very much that I am fond of hosting parties. <laughs> uh, now I should thank the team, Vidya Hari, who has taken up this project in this pandemic time. Her, her role has actually changed. But her focus is the same. She wants to do something to the society which she is doing out of her own. She doesn't make money out of it. It is done, everything is free. So I thank, once again, I take this opportunity to thank one and all on this day. And if you have any queries, please ask me and I can answer it that leisurely. You will have my number and you have my uh, uh, Facebook group, Chandru Real Dentistry. You can approach me at any time. You can approach me for any advice regarding practice. I can just share my experiences. I won't say I'm uh, uh, being a little aged. I'm 73, going into se I'm 73 plus now. So I think I can, I'm eligible to give an advice and it is for you to take. Thank you very much. Thank you, Vidya. God bless everybody. Thank you. Thank you, sir, for the awesome session. Thank you, sir, uh, for the awesome session. Uh, as always, it's such a pleasure to listen to you. Uh, I hope I'm audible. Can everybody hear me? Uh, yes, Vidya. Yeah, so thank you so much, sir. Uh, such a valuable session. And I'm sure all of us have got benefited by this. And I'm seeing so many great remarks. I just want to thank all of you for attending. I'm going to read these remarks for you, sir. So, uh, Rukmani Ma says, thank you, Dr. Chandrasekhar, sir. Uh, very well explained. Explained and good experience means a lot. Thank you, Dr. Vidya, for this wonderful session. Vijaya Suresh says, Happy Dentist Day, Dr. Chandra, sir. Wonderful insights about dental awareness. Proud to be a dentist. Thanks, Dr. Vidya, for the awesome session. Salute to you, sir. Mini Ma'am says, Very practical advice. Thank you so much. Rukmani Ma says, Your statement, dentist, is detective. It's so very true. Sati Murthy, sir, says, Thank you very much. Very informative session. Rukmani Ma says, Yes, Dr. Dr. Vidya is a boon to society. We have benefited so much. And uh, Parvati says, Happy Dentist Day. Thank you, sir. And Vidya, very wonderful session about the whole body. Thank you so much. Rhoda says, Thank you so much, sir. Wonderful insights. Thank you so much. And I'm sure these uh, messages are going to keep pouring from everybody. Uh, I'm so excited uh, to actually have uh, Chandru sir. He's uh, real. Uh, have uh, Chandra amongst us. And happy Dentist Day to all the dentists here. And uh, take care and uh, take care of your teeth. I mean, that is so very important. And uh, uh, it is so beautiful uh, to get so much of knowledge. I'm sure all of us have benefited so much with the kind of inputs what uh, sir Chandru sir has, you know, shared with us. So, thank you so much, sir, for your valuable uh, inputs. And what is your amazing? Can you imagine? Sir has uh, so much of experience. He need not have these papers uh, to, uh, you know, share his wealth. But just that uh, he has taken so much of pain to write everything in the paper and, uh, you know, see and recheck whether he has conveyed whatever he wanted to for the larger public. That itself shows a dedication. Can you imagine a person over 70 who has 45 years in the same field writing down notes? Uh, I am so flabbergasted. I'm just thinking about how much more I need to learn from you, sir. Thank you so much. And as I always say, you know, it's like a father figure for us. So we need your blessings, not only as a person, but also as a dentist to keep growing, keep serving people. 
people with the kind of attitude that you know we need to give more than what we receive so uh, i thank you and i liked when you said prevention is better than cure the prediction of a dentist is much more better than cure so thank you so much sir and uh, thank you team i guess uh, now you can unmute yourself and thanks sir thank you so much thank you thank you dr ortha thank you uh, dr chandrashekar sir it is really very good and we have benefited a lot and thank you vidya for giving us this opportunity thank you thank you so much rukmani ma thank you so much thank you doctor thank you thank you roda thank you so much thank you thank you thank, thank you, you ma'am thank you thank you doctor. thank you thank you so much it is a wonderful session <laughs> vidya also thank you dr mini i mean <laughs> uh mini ma'am is 80 plus but she never misses any session and she's so enthusiastic and it's so much learned from you ma'am thank you so much i mean you're all our assets that's what i should say thank you so much hello thank you so much sir as a young budding dentist uh, the session is very very uh, useful for me um uh, uh, thank you so much sir you are uh, you are also an inspiration for us sir that's andmeena sir uh, she is from madurai uh, right now in chennai thank you so much andmeena thank you thank you thank you buddies we are about to end the session right now thank you so much